Hello, anyone not still living in the 1970s? We interrupt your day to bring you this announcement. Husker Ninja is in the building. Alright, guys, welcome to episode number 26 of the Chris Horn Career Mode here on Tiger Woods PGA Tour 13. And we're back with round number two, or with round two action here at the Honda Classic at PGA National in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. We had an eight under first round, which overall I guess was decent, but our final five holes are really terrible. And so right now we got a five shot lead over the rest of the field. Let's see, let's see how we come out and play this this front nine here on the second round. Because we played seven under over our first nine in the first round. So let's see if we can kind of get the same kind of hot start we had. Except this time continue it throughout the entire back nine. I just want to see what the wind's kind of like. Because I have a feeling the players are going to end up shooting a lot better this round than they did in the first round. And so that means I gotta step up my game, otherwise I can see my lead start to evaporate. As I can't miss hit shots, I can't I can't like miss easy putts like I did in the first round on the back nine. I just I can. And if I get eagle putts, I have to make the eagle putts. So we're out early in the morning at sunrise, probably one of the first groups out because we were one of the last groups in the first round. Oh, this wind is already something I hate. Alright, so we're going to have to play a lot smarter than we did in the first round. But look at that drive. That's going to be all the way up to the bunker almost. 40 yards left here on this first hole. I mean, that's just, that's just incredible. Oh, I yanked it again. Why do I keep yanking it? That's what I want to know. Why am I yanking this crap? Alright, so a 21 footer for our first putt of the day. Thankfully, there's not that much break. Well, I missed a couple of easy putts like this on the back nine, so. On the back nine around one, anyway. And it's early morning. Who knows? I might be tired. I think it's mostly straight. There we go. Nice way to start the round. Birdie hole one. That's back-to-back -back birdies on hole one for this tournament. We birdied our first four and f seven of our first eight. So let's see how we can do on these on this front nine again on this round. Because if we can play seven under on the front nine again, I feel really good about our chances. I'll even take a one under back nine with the terrible... If I play the back nine exactly the same as I did in round one, but I play the same front nine, I'll take it. I just I just figured I'd I would not be shooting as well on this on this front nine the second time around. But if I if I do, I mean I'll certainly take how I finish the first round and I'll take whatever I get on the back nine. If I can seven under the front nine twice, that's gonna be huge. But there's a lot of winds, so thankfully we're not we're close enough for the winds not going to be a huge a huge problem because we are inside enough. It doesn't affect it as much on wedges as it does tee shots and approach shots. Still got like a 16 footer right here, 18 feet I think. Tough little breaking putt right here. I have no ah. Uh, this is. We'll try this. Oh, well that's way too much. Oh no, that was close actually. And I was just rolling all the way past the green though. So I may have spoken too soon about my hot start. The Yanks screwing me over again. And I'm still not out of the frickin' woods.
I do not want to. F I just had a four pot for a double bogey. I hate this stupid game. And I did not gank it. Controller, are you reading this thing right? Jeez, Louise. This controller's pissing me off. It says I yanked it again. Get out of here with that. A triple bogey and a five putt. <sighs> oh, truly there was a controller not reading the way I'm putting it right. God. That's stupid. Alright, so now, now I've got to have a good back nine. And I've got to pretty much do the exact same on the front nine the rest of the way as I did earlier. But of course, 11 mile an hour wind in my face. Because you couldn't make it easy for me because it's a par 5, right? I mean, you gotta make it as difficult as freaking possible. Good thing this is short enough that even with the wind, maybe I can get it to bounce up. Just need it to bounce up and roll like onto the green. Come on, get there! I really need to chip in right here. Roll, 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 roll. Nope, no chance. This is going to break a lot, and I really need this putt. My putting has been a lot more terrible this round. My putting has just been god-awful this round so far. Except for the first hole, my putting has been... I can't even right now... This is an evil. Both of these past two hole locations have been trash. <sighs> Another bogey. Oh, hey, sour guy. Yeah, I know it says I'm playing Pac Man. I'm not. I thought we had it fixed about five times, and not really. You missed me rage on both of the past two holes. I mean, I, I was raging pretty hard on these last two holes, which is pretty sad because this is a golf game, but it's a sad truth. I just stay in the fairway, please. Of course not. Why would you want to do that? Stay in the fairway? What? No, no. that That's not any fun. We gotta make it as hard as possible for this guy who's already mad. Grr. If this stays close for a tap in, I, I controller, you're about to see I'm gonna pull it back literally as straight as I can. I'm going to keep my eye on this and not even the top of the screen. What the? F Okay, good. You read it as not yanking it this time. Good job, Mr. Controller. Alright, so we'll take the birdie. We only got a three-shot lead. These were two over on our round so far. We got two birdies, but we've also got a triple bogey and a normal bogey. And the triple bogey wasn't even I hit bad shots. It was I got on the putting green and then I five-putted. I had a birdie putt, and then all of a sudden I had a quintuple bogey, or a triple bogey putt, I mean, for my quintuples, quintuple is putt of the round, or of the hole, I mean, I, don't, I had a par three, I'm going to try and get this close, oh, that's a nice little shot, 
I need this putt. I mean, it's a close approach, nine feet, but I need this putt. I need this putt to fall. As I do. Son of a... Gun. Yeah, son of a gun, that's what we're going with. Uh, you'd best, you'd best not be screwing with me, you reeds. Oh, good, and I hammered that, like, literally as hard as I could. So, if I had been off, that would have been gone. Dustin Johnson birdies the second, and this is what I was afraid of. That's why I wanted to capitalize on the first round. I had so many easy putts, and I missed... I think I made a lot of them, but I missed so many. And that's why the 8-under is making me sad, because I could have been a lot better, and I'm, I'm just hot garbage on this round right now, so I'm really feeling the misses. Oh, no! I did not pay enough attention to the wind, I guess, and I almost got screwed. That was almost a disaster. It's alright. It's a par 5. Saying flea did not go on the water. Get on the green. Sit. Alright, we're on the green. This par 5 is going to be kind to us and leave us with an eagle putt. But I, if I remember correctly, this is one with awful, awful, awful breaks. Yeah. It is. Just be close for a birdie. That's all I want. I mean, these are the putts where it's, it's really hard to be able to... J I actually had the pace correct. I just played a little bit too much break. All right, this is straight. This is one I've got to make. Oh, wait, nope. There's a little bit of a break, but it's also breaking the other way, so I don't... I will get the birdie. That was a big time birdie. I had to have that one. I needed the birdie on the last hole too, but at least I came back for the par. And Johnson bogeys a third. So we are we are back at a four shot lead right now, fellas. Gotta gotta try and finish out strong here. Try and finish this front nine out in style or something. We're going to try a three wood. This is either a really smart or a really stupid decision. There's a lot of wind, so I'm going to go up a club and hope it works. Oh, it was a smart decision. Oh, look at that shot. 12 feet for a birdie. Nice tee shot. Close approach. Green and regulation. A little bit of a lot of break here. I've been terrible with my break so far since about halfway through the back nine on the first round. <sighs> but we'll get that one. That one was close, but we got it. That's all that matters. So we're back to even for our round. That'll be four birdies to even out the bogey and the double bo or in the triple bogey, I mean. And then we've also got one par. And so we got two holes left on the front nine. We're not gonna shoot seven under on the front nine again. But uh, that's okay. Because I'm going to make sure I play the back nine better. I mean, there's no excuse for how terrible the back nine was on the first round. So I'm going to improve that right here.
15 mile an hour wind is why I put a little bit on it because even though it's a wedge shot I know 15 miles an hour is enough to affect it a good amount because 15 miles an hour is crazy even for wedge shots I not a ton of break but I have just absolutely completely botched these pretty much since about hole 12 on the back nine on round one. Oh man I hate it when it catches the edge cause it's like oh so close but freaking try again you clown Alright, at least we'll make the par. So that's what, hole 8, I think. Yeah, that's, we're through 8. Hey, look, there's Phil. Phil Mickelson, 3 under through 4. Get on you, Phil. I haven't seen you on the leaderboard much this season. And I want to be able to be going down to the wire with you on Sundays where I beat you. Or sometimes I guess you beat me because I'll probably choke. And nice to see Phil on the leaderboard. Even nicer would be seeing this putt go in the back of the cup for a birdie. Or hole out for an eagle. That would be nice too. Not going to hold my breath, but that would be nice. That's a crazy amount of wind. I bet you it'll help bounce out the hill. Oh yeah, that was oh yeah, that's a really nice chip. A really nice approach shot. If I moved it over a little bit, that might have rolled in the hole. Like that was how good of a chip that was. Although my putting's gonna come over and try and screw me here again. Nice try, putting, haha. <laughs> So we, we respond from our five putts for a triple bogey on the second hole. And we managed to actually shoot one under on the front nine. That's pretty impressive. And Phil birdies hole five. So Phil Mickelson got a five shot deficit behind Chris Horn. Nice to see Lefty doing well in this video game. And I mean, I'll, I know I've mentioned it before, but I'm going to reiterate it here. Phil is definitely my favorite golfer on the tour right now, like in real life. Yeah, it's been for, I think, as long as I can remember, honestly. So it's nice to see him doing good. Oh, I don't even need, I, I don't even need a driver for this. We'll go hybrid. That's on the front of the green. Sit down, please. Rats. Alright, time to work some magic with this wedge. 